Hello and welcome. Welcome to my home and welcome to our sacred space that I have prepared for us today. I'm Olivia and this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia. Here to do your daily pick a card. We are not going to have a thought of the day because... Oh, look, I didn't even put card toppers yet. How prepared am I? Well, I did do some prayer and meditation and and but it doesn't look like I did much of anything else. So we'll just put some quickie, quickie, choosy card toppers here. Let's see, what else do we have? Let's do the, let's do the green heart. Let's put that right here. Okay. So now we've got some fancy card toppers. If you've never done a tarot, pick a card. It's easy to do. Just follow along with the video and it'll be great also so it's designed so that you pick a card you use your card toppers in order to differentiate from the cards from one another um, however I will say that many people choose more than one card some people watch the whole video and choose all the cards um, that's that's my favorite way to do it um, I do other tarot pick a cards that way sometimes as well um, and I take what resonates and leave the rest, which is what I'd like you guys to do. Um, if you're liking this video so far, or if you've been here before and you know you like what you see, go ahead and give me that thumbs up now. That would be, that's much appreciated. Also, if you subscribe and hit that notification bell, since I've been doing these videos a little more intermittently, then you'll, will know when I post a video. It looks like I'll be doing a video probably about every other day. Maybe I'll do some closer together sometimes. You let me know what you think. If you want me to do videos daily, it'll just take one comment from one person for me to do that. However, um, I will say that if I haven't done a video when you're looking for one, a lot of these are timeless and so you can just go to the timeless um, list and pick a video from there and whenever you choose it it's time right <laughs> okay all right let's go ahead you know what take a look at these I'm gonna have a sip of coffee I'll show them to you up close and then we'll get started mm. Mm, mm, mm. that's extra good I know I say that almost every time so let's take a look at these we've got the green heart I think it's a kind of selenite here we have this is glass beautiful blue glass this one is a river rock Makes for a nice palm stone if you have small hands. And I do. And then I call this the key lime slice. It's glass. And it's cute. All right. All right. So those are your card toppers. If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. And that way you can take all the time you need. And then you can come back with this when you're ready. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and start with the green heart. And let's see what we have here. I do have charms under the cards. And that's because I've been having trouble picking up the cards. <laughs> and that helps me kind of get a grasp. All right. Yes, here it is again. The Nine of Swords. If this is something that you've been seeing uh, a lot of lately then it's something that you really need to pay attention to. And because I have been drawing it a lot out of the deck, I kind of put a little spin on the, not a spin on the meaning. I just went more in depth in the meeting, in the meaning of this card for you guys for now. Okay, so I often call this the nightmare card or the PTSD card. Um, and I, and I almost always suggest, um, getting some kind of professional help from a therapist um, if you're having night terrors or if you're suffering from PTSD um, it's a very strong image it could very well just be um, a nightmare and in that case I wouldn't say you have to have professional help for a nightmare um, but it is telling you something 
oftentimes uh, the darkness in the back of this card represents our subconscious and the swords actually represent you know their intellect so they're they're pieces they're little points of light or little points of of like understanding sudden understanding sometimes um okay so maybe something has been suppressed with the black color or so-called forgotten which is a misnomer because our bodies and our subconscious does remember past traumas and we do end up acting on those traumas, whether we remember them, whether we suppress them or not. And they can make us ill. Um, so, let's talk about these nine illuminating lights. They are weapons of the intellect. And once you have these insight, or these memories, or whatever's coming up for you, make sure you take the time that you need to get used to your new reality. Because it often brings into light something that we have put aside, okay? And we put it aside because it was difficult or frightening, okay? Take your time, but don't close your eyes because now is a chance to get through and get over to the other side. Again, I'm going to say take your time, but don't close your eyes, okay? Being able to live effectively in house, deleting bad self-sabotaging behaviors that can cause a lifetime of anguish. So you also, with this quilt here, it says that you have help from someone who loves you. Usually family or a mother, because um, this quilt is handmade and it keeps you warm at night. And it will help you um, through this. And possibly if you're thinking of uh, someone in particular, when I talked about the quilt, that might be somebody you want to go ahead and talk with about this. And that's what we have for you under the green heart. Now let's take a look at what's under the blue glass. Strength. What a card, man. This card is something, I got to tell you. Because here's a, a person... Acting like this this wild lion is a kitty cat. <laughs> and this person is decorated with garlands and they have the infinity symbol over their head, which I love. I love that. Okay. So the strength card represents our wild nature, but also wisdom. Wildness and wisdom together create and feed our vitality and our joie de vivre. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. But to live in the fullness of one's strength is to be completely present at any given moment. So it's a little bit different than this one because it's very difficult to be present when you're caught in this state. In fact, if anything, you feel like you want to get away. But with strength... And it would be nice if these were together, and maybe you can think of them as such, because this is kind of a... In fact, let's put them together. The strength card is a promise that you have the strength to get through this, okay? And let's talk about courage. Courage is feeling afraid. Courage is feeling shaky and unsure. And then going through with the truth anyway or or the right thing so how I wrote it down was courage is feeling the fear than doing it anyway what is it you ask it's doing the right thing and this card also represents healthy sexuality and even lust now lust is often considered a a bad emotion or wicked or something like that um, it's not really considered so in this reading. In fact, I feel like what, wh where would we be as far as procreation goes if we didn't have lust, right? <laughs> so we're talking about healthy sexuality here. That's a really good card to have today. And let's go ahead and look under our river rock. And see what we have here at the Eight of Cups. Again, I do want to say, 
if you happen to see the same card or choose the same card over and over again or more than once it's something that you really need to pay attention to and so with this card you have the sun and the moon both at the same time which represents a conscious decision the mood is your subconscious the sun is illumination or your consciousness and both of them together mean that you've gone deep to make a conscious decision to take a break or a sabbatical that's this card's nickname is the sabbatical um i didn't come up with it on my own i'm taking a master class and um and i really like it and it and it, i really like that as the name of this card so sometimes in order to find our path it's good to stop the merry-go-round and get off it'll still be there when we decide to get back on So basically, so if you don't know what a sabbatical is, go ahead and look it up in the dictionary. It's, it's more than a vacation. It's, it's like a vacation in a spiritual journey or even an intellectual journey wrapped up into one. So, so that's, that's close. That's close to what the definition is. Let's go ahead and see what's under the key lime. Well, well, well. Okay, so I'm really kind of excited about this card um, because somehow or another today I, I found a new, not a new meaning, but a different way of illustrating the meaning, meaning of this card. And that is the story of Jacob's Ladder where the angels build a ladder for Jacob so he can move between heaven and earth. So this card is for you today. And it's about, oh, another, another image that came to mind was an octave scale. Da, 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 da. Like that. <laughs> so it's kind of a getting moving. It's like whatever you're doing and you know it really kind of can connect with all of these cards too. It's like no matter what you're doing getting being the fact that you're in movement is good. Okay. Um, these represent goals sometimes. Um, sometimes they represent tools or or um, you know sometimes they're a magic wand. They're definitely energies that you're working with. Um, now I'm not sure how to tie this in, but I'm just going to go ahead with it. Okay. Um, one of the things that came up, one of the quotes that I got out of one of my books that I thought was really um, poignant and also simple at the same time, because basically it's saying you are on your path, your path to health, keep going. And it's time to accept your broken wing and learn to fly. So in other words, this is a card. You might not feel like a whole person. You may feel broken. You may feel scared. You may have all kinds of feelings. But moving forward is moving in the right direction regardless. And you know what? These cards really do seem to connect together and tell a story. So let's look at that real quick. All right. The problem, the, the trauma, the trauma comes to light. You move through it with strength. You have the strength to do it. You make a conscious decision to get off the merry-go-round to figure all this out. And you keep moving. And that way you can find your well way into a healthy state of mind. Again, <clears throat> I'm not a uh, therapist, so what I'm doing here is just talking about how things might be. So I want you to take what resonates with you and leave the rest, and don't make life-altering decisions or choices based on this or any other pick a card. And I really want to thank you guys for being here. It means a lot to me. I'm going to have another sip of coffee. Mmm. <laughs> If you didn't hit that thumbs up yet, go ahead and do that if you liked it. 
Give me a comment if you have any helpful criticism. And um, come see me again really soon. I really enjoy our visits. If you like tea, let me know in the comments and I'll serve you a cup of tea. <laughs> or, or I'll serve us a cup of tea. Um, at any rate, you guys go on with your bad selves. And I look forward to seeing y'all next time. Thank you.